Hey guys, before we do the reaction, I want to talk about something that uh, no one ever talks about, but we should. Body hair and the groin. Right now we have the lawnmower 3.0 with us, and Shane, do you have anywhere that you need to shave? Maybe, yeah. not, maybe not the groin, but yeah. somewhere else? Yes! Shane, you could just use this. How's that feel? Baby smooth, eh? Good. Now imagine this, but you nuts. Get the lawnmower 3.0 and more over at manscaped.com. Use code word BLINDWAVE and get 20% off as well as free shipping. Now, back to the reaction. Hey guys, crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. Shane. And we're back with more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Last time we had Halloween, <sighs> which was a fantastic episode showing just how much of a great detective slash genius Jake Peralta is. With um, a team. Mm -hmm. Yes, with a team. And we got to see a heist episode. Yeah, it was we a did. great heist episode. Halloween heist. No, it was fun. Um, I love seeing like their little group and Jake rely more on team stuff rather than just being a solo Thing going on, you know what I mean? No, yeah, I agree. So. All right, well, let's see what we get into this episode. Let's do it. Who knows? By law, we have 48 hours to find that evidence, so we have to let him go. You just started the clock. Oh, we have a time crunch. What's up with this emergency meeting? Whoa, Whoa. Detective Santiago. Oh. Well, I think you look. <laughs> Sorry, that's was supposed to be a cat call. I don't know how this works. Hey. <laughs> Is this why you were getting makeup tips from the prostitute in the holding cell? I just wanted to know how she got such smoky eyes. Turns out it was an STD rash. Detective Your eyes? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what evidence did you have when you arrested this guy? Some pretty ironclad stuff. Dustin, it's been a while. Might have asked you a few questions. Well, well, well. If it isn't Joe Peralta, <laughs> that's it, you're under arrest. <laughs> Damn it, Peralta. Oh, I know everyone's mad at Peralta for ruining their weekend. But? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just demonstrating for Detective Peralta what a fact is. <laughs> I'll stay for this Whitman debacle. You go home. I'm not tired. Why would you think I was tired? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> this mirrored glass is awesome. It straight up works. An effective use of your limited time. It is actually. That's how we got him last time. Got him stew for a little bit, got in his head. You in prison. Me meeting Regis Philbin. <laughs> you still in prison. <clears throat> Me at Splash Mountain. Just pepper these in here. You in prison, you in prison, you in prison. You get it. Rise and shine, detectives. Rise and shine. Peralta, I want you to bring everyone up to speed. You slept in your office and you look exactly the same. <laughs> what are you talking about? My hair is a mess. <laughs> Baby room, five minutes. His hair is so sleep? short. Just long enough for me to squeeze in a quick workout. They're brenners. That's mine. It's a t-shirt from my fat phase. If at first you don't secede, try, try again. You're that big, you buy anything that fits. A lot of fat guy clothes have races over there. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> did not work. <laughs> I think the perfect first date doesn't feel like a first date at all because you've known each other for a few years, maybe even worked together, and in one night you're laughing and all of a sudden it's like blammo! Kissing. For me, cheap dinner, watch basketball, bone down. So pretty much the same as what I said. <laughs> you got a second, Captain? I've got these overtime forms for you to Are you stifling a yawn? <laughs> no, sir. Go home, Sergeant. 
was like, what's happening? I built this out. I just need you to... <laughs> Permission here, what's up? <laughs> His face. I asked what you are doing. Pie taste test. It's over. I won. It's unacceptable. If you want to know which restaurant has better pies, you can't just have one guy try one pie from each place. Everybody needs to try all the pies from both places. We are gonna be here a while. <laughs> I used it to leave. <laughs> You're fucking full of fans. I want my lawyer now. <gasps> you have changed. You used to go straight to prison. <laughs> Did Witten talk? Oh, come on. Why is there pie here? That's not good. Oh, that sucks. Take the world of you. That's no, that's really Shut a giant eagle. That's a nice dress. That had me a giant eagle. I put a pie thing down, <laughs> a cake down, it's on the saddle. I want to brush my teeth. Jeez, it's been in my mouth. This is the grossest thing I've ever heard. That's the grossest thing you've ever heard? You caught a guy on the subway with a bag of human ears. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out the meringue. Look, it's impossible to make you leave, but you do have to sleep, and that's an order. Sir, this is not necessary. Also, can't sleep without my whale songs. <laughs> I've seen this before. Problems at home. My brother-in-law's in town, and we do not get along. He thinks I'm a weakling. You? Let me get that for you. <laughs> Tiny Terry loves his pickle. <laughs> That's a big guy. That's a real big guy. <laughs> you should have looked at this before you made the arrest. Of you. <coughs> oh, Captain, I'm happy to go. I love the saltwater taffy down there. Scully loves the saltwater taffy down no, there. <laughs> saltwater <laughs> taffy. I have but one wish before I go. Can I please put your glasses on my penis? I just think that would be really funny. Gotcha. Ugh, it's not him. Let's just arrest this guy. Who even cares anymore? <laughs> so, the bad news is my saltwater taffy place was closed. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> and the good news? You know, we spent so much time together here, I know everything about everyone. You know, Hitchcock went bald at 15. Scully used to date Hitchcock's wife. Charles has a bike with a little basket on the front. Who else would you carry baguettes? And Rosa has a shower in her How else would you carry baguettes? I got nothing on her. Good. Well, I guess we did just spend 48 hours locked in here together. Holy crap. What? Locked in here together. Do me a favor, take a look at this picture and tell me what you see. <clears throat> you and Regis Philbin? Awesome, right? Surprising <laughs> down to earth guy and definitely not the picture I meant to show you. But take a look at this. It's you and your old cellmate, Marcus Cole. And here he is again. I'll Jesse. The, jewelry store. the two of you planned this together in prison. Was it? Rosa? There's no evidence. Yeah, that's, that seems I mean, they saw the guy on the camera, I guess. Recipe unchanged. Taste it! <laughs> Go Scully and Frisco. Sarah, this is amazing. This pie is so good, I hate it. You just graduated high school, bitches. Sorry I said bitches, I'm just really worked up. Yo! <laughs> Yo, did, did you see Hitchcock or Scully, which one it was, had all those pies? Dust jockey, huh? You just sit here, eat your pickles, and <laughs> <laughs> turn themselves in. Actually, I don't like pickles that much. Derek. Charlie Chip Rose's pickles. Oh? Yeah, a killer has been spotted in a warehouse down by the canal. Get your gear. So you want me first through the door, sir? Oh, it's just you. The SWAT team is already on the call, so you'll have to do it alone. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to be able to make that. Hey, no. Do you think? Do you think? Go Terry. <laughs> I haven't downloaded you some whale songs. Thank you, sir. I never forget you. <laughs> good night, Terry. This is the whales. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Yeah, tiny Terry. Dude, that Terry loves his pickles. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. I want Bigfoot to say that for me. Man, I thought Terry was a is a big guy, yeah. you know, and that he guy is. just makes Terry look so little. Yeah, tiny I mean, Terry. He's right. He has. Got, he's got to be. It's crazy. What? Six foot eight? Six I foot mean, nine? it's like that picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger with um. Andre the Giant. Yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. Arnold's a big guy. You put him next to... Oh, man. I, I, I enjoyed the 48-hour story. Like, I was a poem, too, but I really liked the, the Terry story. Yeah. I love, I love him falling asleep. 
Well, he's doing a full. That ass. was fucking hilarious. Oh, dude, I forgot that was... about that. Uh... <laughs> And he holds himself in the eccentric part of the... Yeah, he's holding himself here. The, hard, the harder part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he, you, mean, you know that he's just doing that. Like, the actor is just doing yeah. that, and he looks at peace. You know? At yeah. first, I thought he wasn't. I thought, like, oh, man, that's the... That's, they, they had it so zoomed in, and then they zoomed out and just showed him no, just hanging there. Hilarious. Like, Jesus, all right. Hilarious. Damn. Is, oh, man, that was funny. I remember this episode because I've always loved the, uh, the cutaway of... Uh, I'm gonna annoy him to get the confession. That I, I didn't get it, you know, because you see that in so many like compilations and stuff, best cutaways. But I think the Terry one's way better now that I'm watching it here. Yeah, There's just something about it's so fucking funny. Dude, I love, I love that. I love, I love the thing like, man, my brother-in-law, he's in town and he thinks I, I'm weak. He thinks I'm weak, and I love, I love Holt's like. He thinks you're weak. <laughs> exactly. yeah, he's opening the pickles for him. <laughs> he's. He's sitting well, there. It's funny because when the hand comes down, yeah, <laughs> from over the fridge, it's so huge. And it's kind of like the camera's kind of like here a little Terry bit. Loves his time it, it makes you think. Terry loves like, pickles. That's why Terry doesn't think super highly of himself because he has this other guy that's way bigger than him. Yeah, so. well, and it makes sense too. Earlier on, whenever he was like, I didn't have time to sleep, but I had time to, you know, he's like. You know, doing printers, yeah. curling printers. Well, Terry also used to be overweight, he says. So, yeah. You know? Dude, oh, the shirt the thing? Shirt. The shirt thing was What, so what was it he said? He said, that guy clothes have racist overtones. <laughs> Which isn't incorrect. <laughs> I thought this was so oh, funny. This is my desk. You just sit here, eat your pickles, wait for the printer. Eat your pickles. You <laughs> sit here. Still go on with the pickle thing. Yeah. Oh, man. His oh, voice is so parents. Good. Yeah, right? Like, Who's? That? His? The, the big guy? Well, they're brothers, right? No, no. it's his brother-in-law. That's oh. his brother-in-law. That's his oh, wife's brother. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's the guy married to his sister. <laughs> well, whatever his name Wait, is. Wait, is it married to his sister or is it his wife's brother? Huh? It's brother-in-law. Wait, which is the, what's the difference? Well, that would no. be his wife's sister, his brother-in-law. You can have your wife's sister's your brother-in-law, but if your sister gets married, that can also be your brother-in-law. <clears throat> Yeah, I imagine staying at his house. I figured it was his wife's uh, brother. Yeah, so I'm I think it's his wife's brother. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wait, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I don't know. Maybe not. But anyway, I just, yeah, I love that. The, the other stuff of the 48 hours taken down. I'm like, yeah. okay, well, it, it was kind of like the last episode. It's like, is he gonna be right or is he gonna be incredibly wrong? And they, they always spin it back around where it's like he was right. It just takes time to figure it out and get to that point, you know? Yeah. yeah. But even still, like, like his gut was there. Well, apparently, we have to assume because you guys are right. Like, you still have to. I mean, that's pretty flimsy, you yeah. know, yeah. in terms of like bringing that to a court. Like once they had that, there was like, okay, here's what yeah. happened. Forty eight hours, you did this, you hid yourself here. I'm like, yeah, but you have no. Do you have any evidence that they planned this and that he was actually involved? Yeah. The most you have still is that you can arrest that guy if you have proof that he was the one who went in. And, yeah, around the place. Yeah, you know I don't I mean? know if we're to assume that they already got that guy and questioned him, and that guy turned him in. Yeah. Or if they're going to, and they know that oh, you're going to get me now. You know. Yeah. I mean, that could be the thing is you get him to confess, and then you got him. I just love when you call him Joe Peralta. That's it. You're under arrest. <laughs> was, yeah. Would you arrest him? I had some pretty solid evidence. Yeah. I was, yeah. I like that too. Uh, and just uh, whatever his name is, he has a. A, a fucking basket on his bike. He's how she's just a carry baguette. Well, yeah, that was good. God, I love how many pies Scully was leaving with. Yeah, like he had a stack when they were walking out the door at the end. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, I thought the pie was going to be something. Like, cause, I mean, just Seinfeld. They kind they have a way sometimes of wrapping up the A, B, yeah. and C stories so they all click in the end. So I thought that maybe the pie was going to be a reason. Somehow it has a, has proof involved. Yeah, that's pie. what I kind of thought at first, but. Yeah, and no, I don't need. Just, I don't need that. I'm just saying. Yeah. I just kind of expected it. Yeah, it's kind of the cutaway. You don't. Yeah, you don't need that in the episode. But I, I mean, I like Boyle's ending. Where it's no, I like, do. Yeah, I like boom, it's, bitches. It's not about admitting he was wrong. Is that he was actually the real thing that he was lying about? Neither was can. That he pie. has the best taste of everyone, and he was keeping that back so that he could one not piss off his friend, and then not piss off the person that he he's, likes, he's into. So. Yeah. I like the, no, the best date is the one when you've been working with him for years, and da 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 da, da blammo, kissing. And then yeah. she tells her, she's like, ah, we said the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like when he, I like every time he does that kind yeah. of stuff. I can't tell you how many times, especially like when we get towards the end of the day and we're recording, we've done like five or six shows in a day, when I stifle yawns. Yeah. I feel like I'm good at it. I feel like I can do it, and I'm like, <laughs> and no one notices. 
But I mean, sometimes it just happens like, goddamn, I shouldn't have been yelling. Because I don't want people to think that I'm bored watching something. It's just I either didn't get sleep, like good sleep the night before, or it's just it's at the very end of the day. Well, this one, I laugh so hard, my brain needs more oxygen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I feel like I've gotten good at like, it's just kind of a hard breath now. I don't know. You know how Calvin does that thing where he stifles his sneezes? Do I know? Yeah. Yes. Apparently, that's extremely, extremely terrible for you because it can like cause like aneurysms in your brain. Why does he do it? Like, I love sneezing. It's like an orgasm in your yeah, fucking nose. It is. Until you sneeze well, too much, exactly though. Yeah, but that's what happened to that prostitute. See, that prostitute has FTD. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If you want to see more reactions, you can see another one over at patreon.com slash blindly. Watch it right now. Support us. And uh, we also have full length over there for those of you that might have Hulu or uh, your own copy. You can sync up and watch the entire reaction with us. Mm. We offer that over at patreon.com slash blindly as well. See you next week.